Hi, it's Dave from Dieway Quern here. Today I'm starting on a project that I've been planning for ages, uh, which is to make myself a really, really long pole. And um, I've got the tools here, so I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I've got the uh, a nine foot pole and a 12 foot um, Tasmanian oak length, which um, a start was made on it ages ago by my friend Tony. We went into cahoots together to buy two of these long Tasmanian oak poles, 12 foot long. And um, he made a start on it for me because he's a bit of a woodworker. But uh, at the time my back was pretty crook, so it was a while ago, maybe two years ago. And... Um, now my back's good, so I'm going to get into it myself. I've got Sigong Chu Shong Ten's book here, and I made different sort of measurements trying to work out what a um, the original poles were. They were nine Chinese feet, and as far as I can make out, that's about eleven foot long. But for some reason, I calculated at the time eleven. What was it? Um, 11 foot 11 I came up with that measurement um, anyway I'll, I'm just gonna get in and make the pole I've got a um, it's called a, a surf form that I'm going to use which is a, a raspy plane that um, was always used for shaping surfboards and I've got a, a couple of clamps and um, Good old saw horses, these are sort of modern, cool screw together things that I got from Bunnings. Well, they're not screwed together, but you just you can just unwind that bolt and, and um, put them away, fold them up. So I'm going to put this this mighty pole on there, and um, I'm doing this just for the sake of it, just to make a really, really cool old school pole, because apparently, um, according to the stories Chu Shong Tin told about Yip Man that in the old days they, they used to use really long poles for their training and this one right now is pretty heavy. Um, I don't find the nine foot pole too much. I'm getting better at it after a couple of years of mucking around with it but um, looking forward to making this big fella. Okay so, bodgy carpenter that I am, I'm um, doing what my friend Tony told me to do, He's, he knows what he's doing. So I've got the end of the pole against the garage door. I've got one G clamp holding it and I'm just working up and down it. And really, this is an expert's job, but I'm not gonna wait around for an expert or pay 500 bucks for somebody to do it. I'm just gonna do it. In the end, a pole's just a pole, isn't it? It's, it's really, really heavy at the moment. As I taper it down, I'm just going to use my my trained artist eye, hopefully, the way a traditional board shaper would work to um, to just try to get it somewhat evenly tapered. Hopefully, it's it's going to work out. Um, so I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I'm using the surf form at a bit of an angle, and at the end of that stops it from moving. I'm essentially carving it off in sort of little square bits so it makes you know a, a hexagon, octagon, something like that, many sided thing and then I knock off the bits that are sticking up and then gradually I'll focus more towards this end. I don't want that to lose too much bulk. I want to have a fair bit of weight still up there and still have this strong enough to not break. And um, I'll finish it off with sandpaper and I'm going to stain it and, um, and varnish it and then obviously I'll make videos. I, I've been intending to make pole videos for a while 
So I'll make a sort of a standard pole video, a few videos with nine foot pole and some shorter sticks and then um, when I get this baby out ready to go I'll, um, I'll show you how that works. Okay so back to it. See, it's getting that you know, hexagony, octagony sort of look, and um, I'll be taking off these bits next. And the old surf form's doing a good job. It packs full of um, the uh, wood saw sawdust pretty quick. Shavings, I guess. So all over the floor. I'm not how much <laughs> don't know how much they weigh, but I think eventually um, this thing will go from bloody heavy to just heavy so we'll see now this might be a bit of a crazy beginner thing to do but uh, from the start this pole you know, there's me there <laughs> uh, had a, bit, a little bit of a bow around about this bit I've been told you can't get a bow out so what I'm going to do seeing I'm lopping off timber I'm just going to put a bit of extra work into the top areas of this and hopefully straighten it out somewhat fingers crossed right, well I'm having fun the other truth she's starting to look like a bit more like a real pole rather than just a dirty great stick I bought at the hardware and um, the good thing about it is it takes ages to do so it gives you time to really tune into the shape of it and it's one thing about doing things by hand. Machines can really rip into stuff and muck things up pretty quick. But doing it by hand, you can see how much um, sawdust I've got there. I'm just going to um, pause for a sec. Interesting thing, as I've been working on this, only, I don't know how long, last hour or so, hour and a half, it's been very meditative and... Um, I've been thinking a lot of interesting things about the pole and what the pole's about and um, especially the size of this pole I realize that size doesn't really matter it's in the end um, you've got to keep that Wing Chun state that soft relaxed state and let the weight of the body and the weight of the pole do the work not sort of fight it which is the thing that we all do, we feel like we have to use strength, especially when something's heavy. You think, oh, I've got to work hard now. But really, you don't have to. Um, that's the one of the big lessons of the pole, I guess. I'll just pause for a sec. So, there's the pile of shavings. It's a fair pile. And um, I reckon I'm going to take off almost as much as that again in um, using the surf form and then using different sandpapers to bring it down but I want to get a nice well as nice a taper on it as I can I don't want it to be too heavy but I also don't want to lose the the strength of such a beautiful piece of wood and it's actually it's called Tasmanian oak but apparently it's a type of eucalypt Australian timber a hardwood very strong and um, it's going to be fun working with this so um, I'll leave it there for the moment put my glasses on um, God bless and enjoy your Wing Chun and I'll see you next time